What's going on guys? It's Ashford from Hashtag Bricks here. And yeah, I got a population ex I had a population explosion. Um I'm sure you weren't expecting for me to do another minifig or custom minifig video so soon after the last one. But yeah. The other day, well, well, as of the time of the recording of this video, it was like a couple days ago, I sat down, I don't even remember why I was looking at my minifig organizer, I, it wasn't like for inspiration or anything, I really can't remember why, but I wound up building 13 mini th minifigs in one sitting, and then I came back about an hour or so later, and built 7 more, so yeah, 20 minifigs for you guys today. Um, so, with that, so I won't waste, be wasting your time any, let's do the first four. Alright, trying to organize these as much as I can, these first four are sort of a law enforcement category, um, well, these first three are law enforcement, this guy is a firefighter, but sort of in that realm of protecting citizens and just, yeah, trying to keep people safe um this guy you can see is an extra is like a full-fledged um officer these um two people are well this one is definitely like a security guard since i'm building up my downtown area you definitely i'm definitely going to be needing some security guards um this lady i can't i haven't decided i'm pretty sure she's going to be in the law enforcement realm i haven't fully decided um, but it is a pretty neutral minifig, so I can do it and do law enforcement, um, and include her in it if I want to. I can not do that and do something completely different if I want to as well. Um, and then this last guy is, like I said, a firefighter. So, yeah, let's rotate around and let you get a good look at him. Um, you might notice that these legs and this torso are from Ultra Agents. Let's see. These, no, oh, no, she does not have a alternate faith. Is this this good one? Yes, he does. It is, now his hair is crooked. Um, one thing while I, I noticed while building all of these the other day is that, let me take this hair piece off. Sorry, my dude. Um, you, doesn't this hair piece remind you sort of of Mark Harmon's hair? Um, uh, or at least it does to me. This hair was from an ultra agent set as well. Well, it was from Solomon, I forget what his name was, Solomon Blaze, I believe. But yeah, when I was building and I saw this hairpiece, um, it reminded me a lot of him. Let's see, there you go, you can have your hair back. And yeah, I'll cut, I'll fix this. Um, I promise this isn't gonna become a um, recurring gag with these videos. And yeah, let's get to the next four. Alright, our next four is a construction category. I wanted to build more construction workers, um, similar to the lady of the last group. This is a n relatively neutral minifig, um, so I can sort of have more options of, like, if I change my mind and don't want him to be a construction worker or, like, a helping with construction, I don't have to, um, like, I, these glasses don't have to be a construction visor. I could change them to be sort of like those tech sunglasses that you see in commercials. Um, and then the rest of it could just be an outfit. Um, I don't recognize this face, but I like, I liked it and wanted to use it. Um, he could also be a mechanic if I didn't want him to be a construction worker. We'll just see. And then this last guy, um, yeah, could be a mechanic, could be a construction worker, but yeah, he's bald. Let's see, do any of them have alternate faces? Nope. Nope. I semi recall this one having one. No, none of these do. Alright, so if I want to switch some of their hair out for caps, um, I could do that. Yeah, let, moving swiftly on, let's get to the next batch. Alright, our next four is um, starting the sort of casual around the city, just they could really go anywhere category, similar to 
the young man and well the 8 to 11 year old boy and the older gentleman um from the last video um yeah i'm thinking about maybe making this um older lady and the gentleman from my last video perhaps they could be a couple um let me know what you think about that um but they don't have to be so they could really be whatever um i wind up needing them to be but yeah if you want them to be a couple there will be a poll I in the corner again um i have two little girls um i didn't intentionally make like two girls i didn't i didn't really intentionally seek out to make any of these except for um a chef that you'll be seeing later i just sat down started building when Ooh, I like that torso. Ooh, I like that um, face. I like that hair. And then started trying to find other parts that would go nicely with those um, parts that I liked. And then wound up building 20 minifigs. Um, yeah, you can see what's going on here. Um, guy, let's see, turn them around so you can get a better look at them. Um, yeah. Continuing with the space themed t-shirts, that would be another one I would totally wear. Lego, if you're watching this, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, let's see, any of them have, no, no, oh yes, yes, she does. Sort of a frowny face of, I don't know what maybe happened, but um, then obviously he has a cap, so um, it's a no. Yeah, some of them I know have alternate faces. Some of them, like I said, it's been a few days since I built these, and it was later and that I built these. And plus, I built 20 of them, so it's sort of hard to remember if some of them have alternate faces or not. So yeah, let's get to the next batch. All right, this next batch is sort of crossing two different categories. Um, this is continuing with the casual um, around the city minifigs with this guy and then these other three are sort of just random goofy ones that I built. Um, this could be a spirit guy, could be a um, street side, maybe like a birthday party entertainer. This is a quite obviously a robot that I built. Um, don't know what he's going to be but maybe like some robot invaders or something and then this guy is sort of supposed to be like a hippie um you might recognize that this is a batman head oh i just realized these are yellow hands i'm going to have to switch them out so that they'll match his face um but yeah you can see with the headband i didn't uh that's how they do in batman minifigs to actually match up his eyes so you can have the white batman eyes or like the white superhero eyes, but I wanted to use it as a regular headband, so I did. Um, and then we've got Shaggy from Scooby-Doo's hair, and collectible minifig like the Snake Charmer torso. Um, let's see, I know this one does, because Batman almost always has two faces, but let's see, yeah. Um, let's see, who else? No, he doesn't. No, the robot doesn't. No. Birthday entertainer doesn't. But yeah, going back to the um, robot for just a second, you can sort of get a better look at what parts I used for him. I don't, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing with him. Perhaps like alien robot invaders. I don't know. I know it's going to be some enemy because he's like got the hood and everything. And I like the way that turned out. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with him. On to the final batch. Alright, this final batch is sort of a grab bag of minifigs. Um, you can see this is the chef I was talking about that's going to go in the Hibachi restaurant, which is what I've decided the first restaurant I'm going to build will be. Um, you can see that's why he has sort of like a dojo, like karate uniform on, and that's why he's sweating, is because he'll be a chef in a hibachi restaurant and it'll be really hot like with the flames and stuff 
and that's probably where the other chef lady will be going to. Um, this is like a normal, like around the street, around the city guy. Um, this looks kind of like a construction vest, so I guess I could use him for that if I wanted to, but yeah, we'll see about that. Um, this is another sort of businessman. I don't know if he'll be applying for a job at my skyscraper mock. Um, or if he already works there, but I know I have a rough idea of where I wanted to be going. Then this final lady, um, has sort of just like another around the city minifig. Um, you can sort of, you might be able to identify some of the parts that went into building her. Like this is Princess Leia on Hoff's torso, or Hoff's, um, torso. You've got Tariel's head. Um, I think, and then the other two, like her hair and legs are more generic. Um, I know you may be wondering, well, why do you keep pointing out where those parts are from? That's something I always like to do is like try and spot different stickers or minifig parts and go, hey, that I know where that was from. So, if you like doing that too and don't like me ruining it, I'm sorry. Just let me know and I promise I'll try and quit. <laughs> um, but if you don't care, well, then I'm going to keep doing it because I'd like to. Um, and while we're on the subject, that looks like a Ultra Agent's um, torso. And obviously that is probably the Jocko. Okay, okay, I promise I'll quit. I promise I'll quit now. Okay, no. Alternate face. Ugh. Okay, well. Oh, there we go. Yes, alternate face. No alternate face. No alternate face. Okay. I'm not going to worry about standing these up because, I mean, I don't want this to be an overly long clip. And these are, this is a lot of mini fakes. So, yeah, I just wanted to share these with you. Some of them will be going or will finding a place in my mocks pretty soon if not immediately and some of them may have to wait a while like um mr chef over here and or like the robot i know i'll have to build something for him to go with um i'll definitely be changing these hands to be um light flesh colored so that we won't have to worry about it mismatching um but yeah just wanted to share these with you some of them, like the businessman, some of the ones that will be going on sidewalks, will be finding their place extremely shortly. Um, like, subscribe, all that good jazz, jazz. Check out our brother channel, all the standard stuff. Um, and I, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you in the next video.